Greetings, my friends. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. You are interested in the unknown, the mysterious, the unexplainable, and this is why you are here. And that's why I say thank you for coming to the 30th Chaos Communication Congress. So it's been 30 years and we have come a long way. From being a small group of nerds and geeks whose advice were mostly ignored. It all became a huge movement, a huge movement of people whose advice is still mostly ignored. <laughs> But this year's Congress has no motto. Why is that? Usually we come up with some kind of twist and somebody has an idea to convey a message to the community as well as the public. But this year there is no motto. Because this year we are speechless. Our mind is empty. There was no message that was strong enough and it was describing what was actually going on inside us. Nobody came up with something. So there's no motto. Because we found ourselves waking up, waking up from a bad dream, waking up from a bad dream to a reality that was even worse. And a reality that can no longer be ignored. We woke up into Hollywood reality, you know, where an agent on TV puts your soul up on screen with a few clicks and no apparent skills involved. And usually we have been laughing a lot when this happens. But this year we stopped laughing. It's not funny. Because this agent, this is a digital agent orange. This agent came and took the leaves from the forest where we used to live and flourish. The forest, the forest that feeds us, the forest that brings value to our lives, that allows us to learn, to evolve and to have fun. So what shall we do now? How can we deal with this situation? Is there anything left to do or is it just game over? Shall we just give the money back to the shareholders and quit? Can we rewind history and start over from scratch? Probably not. We have embarked on a trend that looks irreversible. But let's rewind a bit, nevertheless. Let's look back in time. So 1984 was not only the first year when this Congress came to life. It was also a tale, a scary tale. But as it turned out, not a fairy tale. And we told the world that this was not an instruction manual, you know but something to be aware of. But nobody listened. But also in 1984 we came together as a community, as a group of like-minded people that shared knowledge and discussed the future. We saw the risks, but we also saw the chances. And we still do. 
And because the best way to predict the future is to invent it, the hackers formed the net based on their core principles, trust and friendship. Turns out this was not enough. So now it's 2013. We are way ahead in the 21st century that was once the glorious future we were all longing for. But now it all seems so broken and so useless. What we need to do now? We have to reinvent the net. We have to rethink the net. We need to redesign our forests so that we can still live in harmony, but we're also safe from the predators. What we need is a new standards alliance. A force so strong that it can at least slow the pace of global surveillance to get some control back. You can do it. And you can start here, right here, right now. And your conscience matters. Always do what your heart tells you. Do not follow the money. If there's one thing we've learned from this lost year, it's that each of us can make a difference. One person can start a wave that can't be stopped. Oh, and by the way, we have an appointment. We have an appointment to make. To make it easier for all of you to move quickly and without fear, I here de declare you <laughs> being genuine and authorized popes. And as a pope is someone who is not under the authority of the authorities, you should do well now. <laughs> so, protected from all the evil in the world, I leave you and thank you again for being awesome and for wanting to be a part of the solution. Carpe noctem, use the night, have fun, and let's save the world. <laughs>